What's in your backpack? So what's next? We've decided what should be in our students' backpacks and we've made changes if needed to be sure all students are able to develop the skills and knowledge we think are most important. So now what? Soon we will provide as a district a digital platform for students to use for collecting evidence toward their backpack competencies. Think of this as a virtual bookshelf of sorts, with each shelf labeled with one of the skills we've identified as being most important. What kind of evidence might students start to collect for their backpacks? Think about this. If elementary students were asked to design a board game that could be played to help teach new vocabulary words, Evidence for their backpack might be a video of the game designers teaching another group of students how to play the game. And for which backpack skill? If students worked with a team to do this, they might choose to use this as evidence for collaboration. If students are asked to identify an issue in the school or community and propose and implement a solution, Backpack evidence might include a copy of the presentation a student might have done for an audience who could help with the issue, a link to a student design website to raise awareness about the issue, and maybe pictures of the artifacts students use to identify the issue. This might be great evidence for problem solving and initiative, for example. Let's say that students were asked to determine the cost and benefits of renewable versus non-renewable resources. Then prepare to they had to prepare to take a position and participate in a debate. Backpack evidence might include the article the student had to write for a student published science journal at the school, video portions of the debate, and for which backpack skill? maybe written and verbal communication, critical thinking, and even choosing reliable and credible sources. Maybe students were asked to design some way for the little gingerbread man to cross the river without getting wet. You can have lots of fun with kindergartners doing this. Backpack evidence might include pictures of the final product along with video of the student presentation. It might also include pictures of the various drafts to show the changes made in the design over time as a result of feedback. Maybe critical thinking would be a backpack skill that you could target for this one. It might also be that students could be asked to design a catapult, for example, that will launch a marshmallow as far as possible. Backpack evidence might include pictures of the design plans, including drafts to show changes made through the process, a video clip from the feature the local news did on the competition. For which backpack skill? Perseverance, accepting feedback, and maybe collaboration if others were involved in the design. Students might also be asked to determine what they believe are the five most significant world, national, state, and local events that have occurred this semester. They have to justify their choices and prepare to discuss and potentially defend those with a partner using the format in ESPN's Pardon the Interruption. Backpack evidence might include the script and video for Pardon the Interruption, and backpack skills targeted here might include communication, collaboration, and even critical thinking. We'll see you soon for the next episode of What's in Your Backpack.